See, that's an island sound that I like. I'm trying to remember where our production office was when I did a movie out here. The thing about Nantucket is all the buildings and the houses basically look the same. There's big ones and small ones, but they're all gray. It can make it kind of hard to find your way around. Touches land. He is the light drawn by the tide. One side dreams, one side I'm I thought I'd brave another quick drive through downtown before I go off to figure out where I'm gonna sleep. Man, there's a lot of people down here. A lot of them look like they have on like almost sort of a uniform, you know, with the khakis and all that. That place must make some great juice. It's called Juice Bar, and that line is around the corner. I mean, who waits in line like that for a juice bar? Oh shit, I forgot about cobblestones. Yeah. These are not cobblestones like in Boston. These are old school. I wonder how the bus is gonna stand up to these. Okay, time to get out of this minefield. Well, night number one is over with and I slept pretty well. I stayed at the airport, Nantucket Memorial Airport. I don't know why it's memorial. It's, it's a memorial to Nantucket? I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I stayed there. The first three hours are free. And then it's 12 bucks for eight hours, 20 bucks for 12 hours. I, I rolled in about 11.30, got myself a three hour ticket. And then uh, when Cowboy got me up to pee at 5.30, I got another three hour ticket. And I'm um, banking on there being not a lot of monitoring in the in-between hours, but I don't know, who knows? Maybe they'll send me a bill. There could be some CCTV. It could be, there's some kind of monitoring that I don't know about, or they could be using that transponder that I have for uh, riding on the pike. Anyway, I am here, in, I'm in the Sconset area and there is a seal resting. Yep, there's a seal resting, and I am gonna try my best not to wake that lazy little f***er up. The seal's not the only one who's sleeping in because, I mean, look at this beautiful beach, and it's, yeah, it's completely empty. I don't know, I guess people don't get up too early on Nantucket. Some of the beaches on the mainland, you're not even gonna get a parking space if you don't get there by 7 a.m. But here, at this beach, tiny little parking lot, nobody in it but me. I do feel a little self-conscious about driving Max around the streets here because the streets are pretty narrow and certainly not the biggest vehicle on the island, but all the other big trucks I've seen have a reason to be here. You know, they're delivering something, whatever, you know, and I certainly don't have really what you'd call a reason to be here with a big blue bus, eh, except that it's fun. Fun's, fun's a reason, right? Oh, this does not look like it's going to be fun. Yeah, this is not a good place for me to be. I don't know how I'm going to turn around. There's some kind of event in this house here, or I just go in the driveway, but there's all cars blocking it, so I'm going to have to back up all the way back up there. I'm going to have to back all the way up the street. Oh yeah, making friends with the backup alarm for sure. Okay, 
Okay, so this warning thing here basically says that the Coast Guard can shoot me for turning in here if they want to, but you know what, at this point, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's the only thing I can do. Ugh. Okay, it's a little embarrassing. out of there away from my embarrassing ordeal then i came over here to stop and shop and um i went inside the store to grab a couple groceries and i saw on the salad bar this amazing salad with these super bright flowers in it and i'm gonna make myself a little salad to have tonight with dinner it's super chill in here like nice and and cool it's a little bit more on the warm side outside but breezy and I've got two fans going in here, and it is just delightful. I am parked next to what is clearly another vehicle dweller. Total different strategy, of course. It's a dark, like a navy blue Sprinter with the windows spray painted black. So yes, yeah, super stealth. About as opposite of my circus wagon as you can get. And uh, he's probably going, oh shit, if she's parked next to me. She's going to call attention. She's going to call attention to this. I'm going to head out and... Uh, Try to just find somewhere else to sit, somewhere a little more scenic, you know, because it's very comfortable here, very pleasant, but it's not what I would call scenic. Supermarket parking lot, you find that anywhere. I didn't put a bus on a boat to sit in a supermarket parking lot. So I figured I'd try Jetty's Beach, which is coincidentally right near that production office I was trying to find. But yeah, it's pretty jam packed over here. I mean, I could park, but I'd just be looking at the tennis courts and I wanna see the water if I'm gonna be hanging out somewhere. So I'm gonna look for someplace else. I realized I only have a little bit of time to kill cause I'm going to an event tonight. So maybe head toward downtown since that's where my event is. Oh, that's kind of a neat little beach. I didn't know there was a beach right here, like downtown. I don't know if they call it downtown even, the village. I didn't know there was a beach right here, you know? I wonder, yeah, I've never been to this one. Well, it'd be great if we could park over here because it'd be a fun view. Doubt there's gonna be any spaces though. Oh, wait. Yes, we are in. Cowboy and I are sitting here on a bench at um, the beach that's called Children's Beach. And I only see children on the beach, so it's an appropriate name. There's a big field here that kids can play in and it's one of the only places on the island that says no dogs on the grass because it's a big field for children to play in and they just don't want a lot of poop on there, I guess. That seems to be the, the, the point. Um, we interpreted that a little bit loosely and did walk around the edges of the grass, but we kind of thought, we, by we, I mean me and Cowboy, kind of decided that on the outside of the trees was fair game for dogs. I'm going to a play tonight. I'm just having a little late lunch, early dinner, and then um, the parking right here is not restricted after 6, so I'm just going to leave the bus here with Cowboy on it. It's really comfortable in here, so he's going to be fine till I get back. So I'm on my way to the theater, and... I see that this juice bar place still has a line. I mean, like, it's still a huge line. But the weird thing is I'm looking around me and I don't see anybody that's got juice, you know, or a smoothie or anything like that. Everybody's just got ice cream, including this guy, who is the work of, coincidentally, Seward Johnson. And his house is where I stayed when we did that movie because his son was the director, so. Yeah, even the metal man has ice cream, but we're across from the juice bar. Okay, but if you look at the sign on the juice bar, yeah, the juice bar is an ice cream store. Okay, 
why it's called the juice bar, I don't know. I, they tricked me. Now I want an ice cream. But I'm late for the play, so I better get going. I am in the ladies' room at a theater. Well, actually, it's a church that's serving as a theater where they are performing a play called Nantucket the Muse Ackle. Ackle. Muse Ackle. It, it's a pun. We'll talk about it later. Anyway, I can't shoot anything inside the theater because they don't allow that. So I'm going to have to tell you all about the play afterwards, okay? Gotta go. I just came from seeing Nantucket the Muse Ackle. The Muse Ackle. Muse A C K O. Yeah, that's the pun. Because A C K is the abbreviation for Nantucket Airport, and so that is kind of a stand in for Nantucket itself a lot of times. Nantucket the Muse Ackle. I'm not going to review the show because I didn't go there as a theater critic. I'm not even going to complain about the incredibly high ticket price because. That's what theater tickets cost these days, and then they wonder why the theater's dying. I'm just going to say, to all you local critics, stop referencing Hamilton when you talk about this show. You guys, if you think you're going to see Hamilton, you got to lower your expectations, okay? This is more like maybe um, quality-wise, like maybe like nonsense for Nantucket. With a lot of history thrown in, though. If you like nonsense, you'll like this show. Everybody's very good in it though. It's very professionally done. Really what it comes down to is why are you going to the show? Are you going because you love the theater? In that case, maybe don't go. Are you going because you love Nantucket? Yeah, then go because they cover Nantucket history. They cover it pretty well. The reason I went is because there were good reviews on TripAdvisor and because I thought this might be a great way to get some little bite-sized pieces of Nantucket history so that I can kind of figure things out about this place because I got a lot of questions. The biggest question did not get answered by the show, though it doesn't seem to get answered by anything. There's this leap that happens when you're talking about Nantucket history, and it's a rich history, believe me. It's when we get into it, which we will in the next episode, you're gonna see there was some shit going on in this place way before anywhere else. I mean, Nantucket is so ahead of the curve in so many ways and such an interesting place historically. And it has still so much of that richness going on even today. But you probably noticed when I was driving through downtown and you were seeing the tourists that there's kind of a uniform that people have on. And it's not exactly the typical American tourist uniform, okay? Like, here's the typical American tourist. Here's the typical Nantucket tourist. They don't look quite the same. Where did this come from? Like, who are these people that come to Nantucket? It's a very particular flavor of tourism here. It's the same kind of complaining that you would hear someone do about tourists anywhere, except that it's an island. As tourism grows, what happens? Where do the people go? Those questions are really valid, but I don't think I'm gonna find the answer to those questions, not in my few days here on the island anyway, but I'd like to know, how did Nantucket become what it is? I'd really like to know. I'm getting ready to go stealth here and bed down for the night, put up all my curtains. I, I'm going to go find the perfect place to sleep, but I decided that I want to stay downtown tonight. Just kind of as a challenge, you know, and um, let's just see what happens with that. There's been some commotion outside. I don't know if it's about the bus or not. And, um, yeah, I'm just trying to lay low here. <laughs> um, but I want to make sure the camera's ready in case I am about to get busted. Because one of the things that always bugs me on all these van life channels and sh is, oh, I got a knock on the door, but you never see any footage of the knock on the door. So if I get a knock on the door, you will get to see it. Unless, of course, it's a serial killer, in which case, yeah, they'll probably take my phone. But as far as I know, there has never been a serial killer on the island of Nantucket that I know of yet. Okay. <laughs> 